Welcome back to the newsroom. These are the stories we're tracking at the moment. A Kwaibom State Commissioner of Police, Wahid Ayilara, has passed away. Ayilara reportedly died in the early hours of Thursday at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital in Ikeja. Sources close to the family told newsmen that he underwent prostate cancer surgery on Wednesday, but sadly he died hours later. And the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Joe Ajero, has returned to the Labour House after honouring the invitation of the police. Ajero reported at the force headquarters in Abuja on Thursday morning, accompanied by human rights lawyer Femi Falano and others. His invitation by the police, allegedly about an investigation bordering on terrorism financing, had generated controversy with the NLC and other labour unions, accusing the federal government of attempting to intimidate labour leaders. And the governor of Taraba State, Agbu Kefas, on Thursday reaffirmed his administration's unwavering commitment to combating violent extremism and curbing terrorism financing to foster a peaceful environment conducive to development. Kefas made this known in Jalingo, the state capital, during a two-day workshop organized by the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center with the support of the GIABA ECOWAS Commission. And in an apparent move to support the federal government's policy on the ease of doing business and to tackle economic sabotage and illegal taxation, the police have arrested 20 suspects involved in unauthorized revenue collection and multiple taxations along the Enugu and Abakaliki Eboni highways. The force public relations officer, assistant commissioner of police, Moiwa Dejobi, made this known in a statement. And the, the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has clarified that electricity consumers who get free prepaid meters will have up to 10 years to repay the cost. Adelabu's statements contradict claims that customers who pay for meters will be refunded through energy credit. Speaking recently in Ibadan, the minister who acknowledged that the cost of meters had been on the increase said funding was a major challenge. And on the foreign scene, the Kremlin has warned France on Thursday not to turn a criminal case against Telegram founder Pavel Durov into political persecution. Russia, which had led an unprecedented crackdown on political opponents during its Ukraine offensive, has painted Durov's surprise arrest in Paris earlier this week as politically motivated. And finally on sport, Asisa Atoshola was on target for BFC as the National Women's Soccer League lost 5-2 to Barcelona in the highly anticipated international friendly at PayPal Park. Facing the Catalans for the first time since parting ways with them in February, the 29-year-old Super Falcon striker opened the floodgate of goals by putting the home team ahead on 17 minutes in front of over 14,000 fans. BFC celebrated her goal on their, on their Instagram page rather, shortly after, stating that it had to be Oshola to score first rather than her former team. And these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. Join us again at Top of the Hour for more stories. I am Joel Chajin. Bye for now.